Greetings, my name is Heather Merck, and I am the content coordinator for the Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice at eExtension.org. The Plant Breeding and Genomics Community of Practice is, initi is an initiative of the Solanaceae Coordinated Agricultural Project, or SOLCAP. Today I will be speaking to you on behalf of SOLCAP, and the topic will be the SOLCAP tomato phenotypic data. Estimating Heritability and Trait Blops. Before moving forward, so when we estimated our heritability, we ignored our main environmental effects. And the justification for doing so is in part because it's assumed that we will take these into account prior to making selections. We can do this by making our selections based on blops. BLOPs are best linear unbiased predictors. They allow us to account for environmental factors in our model as well as missing data. They shrink estimates back towards the mean. And so what we can do is calculate a BLOP for each line, for each trait, and then make selections based on our BLOPs. So now we're ready to estimate blops for each line using R. We go back to our random effects model that we discussed earlier. And then we use the command RANEF or R-A-N-E-F for our model. And this calculates blops for all of the random effects within a model. So if we use the structure command to look at our blops, we'll see that we have blops for line by year, line by location, line by itself, year, location, rep within location by year. In this case, we are only interested in the blops for each line. We can extract those from the data and then save them to a separate CSV file using the write.csv command. We may want to take a look at the distribution of our blops. And to further help you understand why selected selection based on blops may be beneficial, we can plot out the um, means for each line as well as our blops. And you can see in purple that blops tend to shrink our outliers back towards the mean. We can also see in this graph that the highest values are for lines that were developed for an arid environment. But we need to keep in mind that degrees bricks and yield are significantly negative, negatively correlated, and this will have implications for selection. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge the following groups and individuals for their contributions to this work. First, I'd like to thank collaborators at Ohio State University uh, within the research group of Dr. David Francis, and that would include Dr. Sungcher Sim, Deborah Leabuff, Troy Aldrich, and Nancy Horachi Morehan. I'd like to thank collaborators Dr. Alan Van Dynes and Sean Yarns at UC Davis, Nankui Tong at Campbell Soup, Dr. Jay Scott and Dr. Sam Hutton at the University of Florida, Dr. Joanne Labatt, the USDA ARS in Geneva, Dr. Meg McGrath at Cornell Long Island, Dr. Dilly Penthi at NC State University, Dr. Robin Buell and Dr. Candy Hansey at Michigan State, and Dr. Lucas Mueller and Dr. Nama Menda at SGN.